So I was planning on doing a video on how I installed my new supercell, but it was so easy and I got so excited, the whole thing got up before I could even start doing a video. So I'm here, I'm doing a post video. Basically, this thing was so friggin' easy to put together. I put up a backboard, mounted the bottom plate here. This part mounted to that plate. This part sat on top. And the barrel slid in and you put the uh, dust collection tube there it's set up it doesn't get much easier than that you're talking about maybe an hour hour and a half if that and one of the things that the supercell does it supposedly has this great suction and I'm here to say that I have to agree I had this in my wife's garage my workshop is in the garage next door, and I'll show you that in a minute. One of the reasons she wanted my old system out, it was a single stage Delta, 220 volt, 1500 cubic feet per minute. Did a very good job of getting all the sawdust and everything from the tools into the garage. However, it had the bag on top, and anybody that has it, one of the uh, shop backs that have the bag on top, you know that dust comes out of that and it's that really fine dust that seeps through there, which is the dangerous kind of dust. That's the stuff you breathe right in. Since we put this in, I've had it in about a week now. I've got everything tweaked up. There hasn't been one bit of dust come out of this machine anywhere along it, on it, on the counters. Everything is perfect. This thing is about half the size of my old unit. And I'll show you a picture of my old unit. This is just an incredible machine. I don't know how it gets that much suction. But they say that you need 4,000 um, feet per minute uh, of airflow in order to get the dust particles and the, you know, the chips to be sucked in. I did a comparison between my old and my new, and I'll show you some of the figures and I'll show you some of the settings that we had. So we'll go into my garage now and I'll show you how I had to hook this up. By the way, this has only one lead, one tube coming out of it. It's a four inch. And my old system had three that I had going through the wall. So I had to bring all three of those and connect them so they ended up as one. And I'll show you how I did that because you can't have more than one running at a time. If you have two on there, it lowers the suction down to where it's not acceptable. My old system, I could have one or two open and it did still work. Uh, on one line alone, this thing works incredible. My furthest machine is my CNC machine. Uh, like I say, you need about 4,000 cubic feet per minute. I'm running around 6,500 cubic feet per minute at my forest location, and that's with 90s and turns and, you know, not a very well laid out system, but it works for my garage. So let's go in there and we'll go ahead and show you my So garage. what we need to uh, do the dust collection for, I have the Delta Unisaw. Over here, I've got a bandsaw. My planer, which is a 15 inch planer, I take that out in the driveway and I'll show you the connection I have for that. And then there's my CNC machine. That is the forest run. And you know, we got way more power than we ever need. And then over here, I've got my miter saw and I have it set up. You can see I all across the back, that little slit, there's a four inch pipe underneath that and I get enough draw there that it sucks about 90% of all the dust that's made there. And then over here, I have one sander here, and then I have my belt sander here. And these have never been dustless. They've always caused the problem. Now with the new system, I get zero dust when I'm using them. So here's what I had to do. I had three runs coming in here before. I have one that goes down underneath the concrete over to the table saw. There's one behind that wood that goes over to the miter saw. And then the run that goes up, that goes over to the other side of the garage for the band saw, the CNC machine, and so on. So I came in here with the main run. 
and then over here it goes up to the bandsaw and the CNC machine and I've got you know I can shut that off when I'm using the 15 inch planer I come down here and just hook the dust collection tube on that and we're good to go and I can do that on the garage where I got more room when I'm using the sanders I just open up that port that goes to my miter saw station and the one down there goes to the table saw once I have used this for a while I will automate each of those blast gates I was using the IVAC system before and I would have to say the only drawback on this whole system, it has a magnetic switch. So I can't really use the IVAC because once you shut it off, and it has to be turned back on, you know, with the remote or over at the switch. So that is the only drawback. And I think they're working on it as we speak. But um, it's not a big inconvenience. But, you know, when I had it completely automated before, as every machine turned on, it would automatically you know, go and start the uh, dust collection. Now I got to turn it on with the remote control, which is hanging up right there. That's the remote for the uh, new VAC system. And I will put blast gates on there that are automatic. Uh, and then at least when I start a machine, that'll open up the particular blast gate and I don't have to worry about coming over here, opening and closing each individual one. feet per minute or feet per minute. So if I am running my planer, which takes the most, I am going to measure it, set the maximum. And I am running 11,130. So three times what you would need to suck the chips out. So when I'm using my planer, I am going to have zero problems. As you see on there, it shows 1113 times 10. So it's so high that it has to put the uh, multiplier at the end. So now so we're at the CNC machine. I'll reset this, set it on max, turn it on. Sixty-four twenty-one. So I have no trouble there whatsoever. And this is throughout the whole garage. This is my longest run and it just works perfectly. My miter saw station, it's pulling it through that lip on the back. And so it's kind of hard to get a good reading. I'm getting 1291 and that's across the whole thing. But all you're getting in there is fine dust and it's enough to pick all that up. So to wrap it up, it was a very easy install other than the uh, spider's nest of uh, blast gates I had to put in. But they are all in now and they all are working fine. I have complete dust coverage everywhere and there's nothing escaping out of the unit itself. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Like I say, the only single drawback I see is the magnetic switch. And for most people, if they're not already set up with the IVAC system, uh, that's not an issue. And the remotes, you could get a couple extra remotes. I think they're only like 28 bucks or something like that. And you could have one at each machine if you wanted to. So that, that everything else is a positive on this. And the ease of installation, I did watch one other video where the gentleman had some problems with the gaskets and so on. I got the one with the drum, uh, the smaller drum, and they have like a 14 gallon, and that's the one you got to play around and put the gaskets on. But the uh, intermediate size actual drum, it was a no brainer putting all that in. The directions are good, and you know, I other than the cost. There's no reason not to go to this if you want something that you have some long runs and you need to be able to get it drawn in. I've never had good luck when I use my 15 inch planer. Uh, it, it, it would suck it out barely. And now I can go ahead and plane a board and I have no worries that, you know, 100% of it is being sucked up and carried, you know, through the machine. 
We are getting ready to fly cut. We're going to start in a second. I just added the new shop vac that I got uh, from Oneida. It's their supercell. And the ability for that thing to suck up all of the chips, you'll see how clean this is going to be. So we're getting ready to start. We will cycle. It would help if I turned it back on. Well, I hope you found the video useful, and if you have any questions, just leave your marks, remarks down below, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Good night.